All right, so it's it's a zombie apocalypse. There's zombie outbreaks everywhere. You're at home. What's the first thing you grab before you get in the car? My wife. Inanimate object. <laughs> What's going on guys, it's Sean and you already know it's me Chris and we are here with this delightful platter here. Oh this delicious food, you see we got the fries, we got the buffalo wings, they're sweet heat, it's got that nice balance of sweet and spicy, we got the meatballs, the tortillas, teriyaki wings, rotel dip, oh man, look, like, look at it, look at it, look at the drip, delicious. Mm. As you can see, this wing is, it's a very healthy size, you know, so. <laughs> Ooh, it's hot, you gotta be careful. Okay, so we're gonna start asking you guys some random questions while you start eating, okay? Okay. So, first question, what was the funniest way that you have been injured? The funniest way I've been injured? Hmm. All right, let's try another one. Okay, so what scene from a TV show will you never forget? What scene? Hmm. <laughs> Very oddly specific. They are. Y'all just talk about random stuff. These wings are really well. Dig in, try one. So like, they're trying to ask us questions, but we, we really didn't have good answers for them. <laughs> I'm scared of wearing my bag. It's gonna just turn into two guys eating. I'm trying to make like a muck bang with anything else, it's like a muck. Yes. <laughs> what, is, what is the definition of a muck bang? Honestly, it could be just people eating. You don't have to talk. Mm. Some people just like to watch people eat. Mm. I'm not judged. I think it's cool. Hey, I mean, there's plenty of TV shows where I they eat. They just eat. What's your favorite flavor of wings? I don't really know, man. I, I've had to say... There you go. Usually wins. But I like uh, buffalo sauce too. Mm -hmm. It depends. I don't know what kind of wing we do. I think with the drumstick, you usually go for like buffalo or something like that. Are you more of a drumstick kind of person or like you like just the regular whole wings? I've heard there's these huge debate whether which one or the other is better. Well, like the, the classic or the, what do you mean like the drum or the yeah, flat? Yeah, like the, the drum or the flat, and I don't get that debate. The wing's good. Mm-hmm. Like, I just eat the whole thing. Mm-hmm. But if I had to choose, I guess I'd be drumsticks all day. They're just easier to eat. Mm-hmm. But, I don't know, man. I kind of think that the actual, the flat part, it's more enjoyable to bite into and pull apart. It's more satisfying. But I guess the, the, the meat is tougher like around like the actual drumstick. Yeah. Now that I'm biting into it. Guys, comment down below. If you think drums are better, say hashtag drum. And if you think the, the, the flat is better, then comment hashtag flat. Let's see which one you guys think is better. Honestly, they're both good though. Mm -hmm. You're in the military. What's your favorite part of being in it? Like, what's the best aspect? Hmm. Generally, the people you work with is the best aspect of that job. Um, cool. It's 
specifically like, you know, you find out who has your back and a lot to do. That's what I like about it. Um, of course, shooting fully automatic weapons is cool. Uh, whenever you go to like a machine gun range, I was like a saw gunner for about two years. And uh, I think whenever we go, like I hate carrying that thing. I hate carrying the ammo, but getting to shoot it was a lot of fun. I like that part too. And don't you have to, don't you have to jump for planes? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What was your first experience like? Do you, can, you, can you recall your very first time doing it? Mm -hmm. Yep. What was the thoughts going through your mind? Like, how was it? So my first time jumping in there, going to school, I'm going to skip all the details later. When you get on the plane and it takes off and you're rigged up in your parachute, the first thing you're thinking is, oh, this is, this is kind of sketchy. Anyways, um, the green light goes on, you kind of just force yourself to walk to the door. You don't even want to, I guess it's, um, nerve wracking. Yeah, it's counterintuitive to be walking towards a ledge 1200 feet off the ground. You know, I'm just like, oh, yeah. Anyways, just kind of got to do it. Yeah. And next thing you know, you're, um, you're airborne. Airborne qualified. And my first jump, like, as soon as my parachute opened, it was all good. Like, I was like, I was like, woohoo! And it was funny because the black hats, the, the instructors at airborne school were like, shut up. <laughs> I could hear him from the ground, so. Like I spied him when he was riding, he like, woo mm -hmm. Yeah, but then you kind of look down and you're like, the ground's coming a little fast. Okay, well, just uh, meet me together. You're not expecting it. Like, your first landing, like, you kind of don't know what to really expect when you hit the ground, but my first jump was pretty soft. Enough about me, tell me about your college plans. Well, right now, I'm planning to get my associates in arts. Within a year, I plan to, and then become a respiratory therapist. I gotta go into the respiratory care program. Mm. I want to start working early, but yeah, it's a, it's, it's a cool experience. And I'm glad I did. I mean, I already told people. I'm glad I went ahead and did dual enrollment because now I'm able to do some of the stuff they try to make you do for pre rigs It's like less weight, even though it was like it was more of a load at the time. It eased the load later on. Flavor site. Mm -hmm. It's not too hot, so you can just keep going. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So good, it steals all your words. Mm-hmm. I say, yeah, definitely. Wings are my favorite food. What's your favorite food? Hmm. Oh, they're one of my favorites. That would lie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, wings are out there for me, for sure. Because you asked me that question, I was like, ooh, I don't know if I can answer that one. That's a difficult question. It's kind of like, you know, what are you in the mood for that specific day? Variety is the spice of life, I say. All right, so it's it's a zombie apocalypse. There's zombie outbreaks everywhere. You're at home. What's the first thing you grab before you get in the car? My wife. An animate object. <laughs> An animate object will definitely be, well, I don't want to say what's in my house. Something that could take out a, a, a zombie for sure. Okay. So you're probably blushing right now. How are you, babe? <laughs> <laughs> um. No. Yeah, I oh, you were able to save it. Yeah, I gotta send in the recon chip to retrieve it. No uh -huh. chip left behind. Mm -hmm. Thing I'll bring be some kind of weapon. Mm -hmm. Water or something that can purify water. Mm. Oh gosh, I'm rubbing it on my face. <laughs> yeah, off. <laughs> like my finger completely missed towel and just kind of rub it right across my face. I feel like a child. Okay, so we'll try this again. If coffee was illegal, what would its street name be? Yeah. If coffee was illegal, what would its street name be? Mm. Oh my gosh, no, not that one. Mm -hmm. Probably jumping beans. 
<laughs> Jumping beans. What song do you have to sing along with when you hear it? SpongeBob SquarePants. You know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Ripped his pants song. It's just, I, I heard it when I was a kid. And it just has a very catchy tune. In fact, I actually got in trouble for singing this a lot. If you could become an inanimate object for a year, what object would you choose to be? I'd be a bicycle. Why? You could still be moving around and see the world. There hasn't been toilet paper. That's true. Mm -hmm. I probably <laughs> want to be like a painting. Hmm. Or a refrigerator. A refrigerator actually pretty good. Because you know, you still have the light inside. And you wouldn't have to worry about not seeing people because they they gotta go eat. I couldn't think of a good nickname for a, a, a coffee. It was bad because coffee's never bad. I just it's just hard to express it myself. You know. But um. Just eat and talk, guys. We're, we are talking. Yo, How are you criticizing us? <laughs> no, we can't forget. We can't move on. You're mean. Y'all need to move on because y'all struggle. Not really. But you know what? We got wings. That's all that matters, right? Yeah. Look at this wing. How can I be bothered? Mm. Wings. Fries. Meatball. Guys. We like to eat this delicious seasoned meat. <laughs> it works. Look at that. I don't even care. Look at it. It's so juicy and tender. Better than any place I've gotten wings at. I don't know why, but I know why. The reason why it's harder for you to come up with stuff and why we can't like just be talking guys like we normally do, mm -hmm. is because when we eat, our brain releases these, these endorphins that make us, they block our normal neurotransmissions because we're so happy and we're focusing on eating mm -hmm. so we can't talk like we normally want to. So mm -hmm. it's, it's not our fault, Shalise Sincere. We, we can't, they're ignoring me. Mm -hmm. We can't help it though. It's our brains. Would you rather be the strongest villain or the weakest hero? Weakest hero. For real? Yeah. Who wants to be bad? I guess. But if you're the weakest hero, can you really do anything? Did David beat Goliath? David wasn't weak though. Compared to Goliath, he was. That's true. But there was probably people who were very much weaker than him. Plus, he had the lower on his side. If you could turn into any one animal, what would you, what would you pick? Probably a wolf. What's the reason? No, you know, they have big packs and they're not always, I mean, it's a cliche answer. They have some packs, so they're not alone. Um, they're pretty smart. They're not at the top of the friction, not the bottom. You know what I want to be? Mm. Fran Mantis Shrimp. <laughs> you know, like their punches are equivalent Even to that air Mantis shrimp. Shrimp. The Mantis Shrimp. No, no it's not the Fran Mantis Shrimp. I just heard the Mantis Shrimp from Real Facts about the Mantis Shrimp. This punch is equivalent to a bullet. Mm. So imagine they're like scaled up to human size. How are you doing on your wings? Good. Do you feel like you're hitting, Killing them. Do you feel like you're hitting the wall? No. Never. What about you? How are you feeling? I'm good. Feeling a little cool. I'm getting there. It's one food item, like mm -hmm. anything, that you feel like you could eat like all day. Hypothetically speaking, not literally. Gosh, it was. Cool. Uh, I don't know. I like the taste. The well, problem with like eating those kinds of snacks is like it's hard to stop. And I just want like a couple hands. Like that serving size is ridiculous. Like it used to be when I was younger, Twizzlers. You know, like the serving size is only one because it's like a hundred calories for one Twizzler. I like Twizzlers. I, I tried these green apple Twizzlers. They were so good. They have orange crushed Twizzlers now. Mm hmm. Oh, wow. You try them? Mm -hmm. They're good. You know what I like to do? I like to put them in the freezer. Let them get cold. Mm -hmm. 
It just it adds another dimension to the flavor. And then these mm. picked off bones right there. Our place is like bone scrap yards. Mm -hmm. This is a whole other level. Mm -hmm. The amino acid chains from the original ones you needed from all the. Uh oh! <laughs> no! You hit the wall. We're hitting the wall here. But there's only like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Maybe ten wings left. No, I'm wiping my hands here. It's so shit. Let's see your carnage. Show us the carnage so far. This is the carnage report. <laughs> the carnivore report. Hi, right, welcome to the carnivore report. I'm your host, Sean, and my co host, Chris. Actually, we're both hosts. We're just hosts. I'll take my carnage. Even though I have a little bit of meat right here, here's the war zone. It's not pretty. Well, it's, the colors are nice, but mm -hmm. there's no meat really. List euphoria. I think I actually experienced catharsis eating all these wings. They changed my life. Just shut up your experience when you put it. Man. I'm sad that it's all gone actually. I'm doing the close to being gone. I hate to see him go, but you know, love to watch me eat. Love it, that just ingest me, it's amazing. Yeah. I won't forget this experience. It, it's um it's it's eye-opening. It makes me realize why I'm a kid. <laughs> a wild a carnivore, not a cannibal. Cut that out. I'm not a cannibal. <laughs> totally not a cannibal. <laughs> well, I am a cannibal. Really? 